Bezos. Hey guys, what's going on? You're back at Clever TV, and today we have a movie star in the making joining us in the studio from the upcoming feature film Ramona and Bezos. It is Joey King. Ramona. Hi. <laughs> Joey King. I mean, thank you so much for being here. You are one busy lady. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, you landed basically the role of a lifetime. This movie project is huge. I grew up on the books. What was your reaction when you found out that you got this role? I cried with tears of joy when I found it. I got the role. So did my mom. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. Um, the day that I found it, I got the role. I was so excited. And my family, they actually made a poster for me that said, congrats, Joey. Uh, everyone signed it. And I went to Chili's afterwards for um, Love to Chili's. For celebrate. Yes. I mean, who, you can never get tired of Chili's. Never. Never. <laughs> never. Um, so we had a big celebration, and I was just so excited. And you know, my family always su supports me, so it was great. Oh my goodness! Now Ramona, of course, is an iconic character to play. Did you read the books to get ready, or had you already read the books before you even went on the audition? I actually, <laughs> to be honest with you, I only read one of the books. Yeah. Ramona couldn't be AJ before I um I got the part, and then when I found out I got the part, I read all of them, and I loved them. So what do you think about Ramona? If you had to describe her, tell us about who she is. Well, she's just like, Ramona's really just a unique girl, and you know, she has fun in life, and she's not afraid to be standout-ish. She has, a, she, her sister, her and her sister, they have um, an interesting relationship because they don't always get along. And you know, Ramona always tries to help around the house, and you know, always, Always try. She things, has good intentions. Yes, exactly. Good but intentions. Things just don't go out the way she plans. No. So is that kind of what the plot is about, or what is this movie? What's the plot line like? Well, it's really about you know Ramona. She's a unique girl, and she um she's trying to help around the house because her family's having some trouble. Okay. So she's helping around the house. She's helping raise money, and in the process of raising money, she does all these like little like car wash and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and um she. Things don't go the way no. she plans. Cause they don't go as planned for no, Ramona. No, ever. nothing does. <laughs> <laughs> the trailer is hilarious. I think a lot of people at home have probably already seen it. What was it like doing all those insane stunts, playing a character like that? I thought it was so cool. Yeah, it looked cool. I know. I thought doing, I didn't do all my own stunts okay. on that movie, but I did most of them. And I just thought it was so much fun because I love to do my own stunts, actually. I worked with Stunt woman right here. Yeah, right here. Oh, oh future God. one. <laughs> but I actually worked with Lisa Hoyle on okay. CSI. She's a wow. stunt woman. And um, she actually got me a t-shirt that said like Stunt Woman Incorporation. And I still had that That's shirt. That's so cool. And oh I gosh. was like, oh my gosh. That is so <laughs> neat. Now would you say that you, Joey, Joey King, do you have anything in common with Ramona? Because she seems like she gets herself into a lot of silly situations. I do have some differences and I do have some similarities. Mm -hmm. um, me and Ramona are the same because, you know, I have a very energetic personality. Obviously, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, you know, I have sisters. I, I don't have a cat, though, because I'm allergic oh. to cats. <laughs> really? That's funny. What did yeah. you do about cats on, on the set and stuff? Oh, no. <laughs> what, what happened? I'm allergic to cats, so <laughs> what happened every day? Yeah. I had to put like, like this allergy stuff on my nose. Uh -huh. I had to put eye drops in. I had to put this barrier cream on my skin. Let's see what else I had to do. Um, I forget the sacrifices. Oh yeah, and make. I had to take allergy pills too. And I was like, still every day when I work with the cat, I got hives. Oh. I'm like, oh my gosh, what, a <laughs> what more can I do? Oh my goodness. What about your hair? Now you told me you're naturally like a dirty blonde. Did you cut your hair for the role? I cut and dyed my hair for the role. I, mean, I love it. It wasn't really that big of a deal. I was excited to dye my hair mm -hmm. because you know, change. I was no, excited. Why not? And I was a wee bit nervous to cut my hair because I kind of liked it the length, yeah, like right longer. here. I like it short, actually. Yeah, it looks cute. And I'm planning, maybe, if I don't have anything going on, I'm gonna try to grow it out, maybe. Okay. And I wanna see what that looks like, because on um, quarantine, I had long hair, and it was extensions. Ooh, la la. So I thought it was, I, was, I thought it was pretty with the Rock a wig, <laughs> who cares? Um, now, another cool thing that I noticed in the movie when I was checking everything out is that there's a secret handshake. And I love anything that's a secret or seems like kind of covert. Can we John Corbin? Yeah. So how did you guys make that up yourself? Or of course we did. How we did always have that? to have original ideas. <laughs> I don't know who came up with what because I have no idea. I don't remember. But I think I came up with that little thing. And okay. I think I think we mixed it all together with the rest. And it was like we had the best handshake in the world. I'm sorry. I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. That and is so my cool. mom and John everyone. Corbin. 
Corbett. Yeah, I know. He's so cool. So rad. He's so silly. I love him. <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Um, the movie is coming out just around the corner. And, you know, I want to ask you if you want to have a five second dance party with me right now. I would love that. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's finished. Well, <laughs> yes, we're silly girls. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joey, for stopping by the studio. No I really problem. appreciate it. I know our viewers will too. And you are just kind of on your way to huge things. Thank just you. Just throwing it out there. Now, you guys have to make sure to catch her when her movie, Ramona and Beasts, hits theaters July 23rd. You don't want to miss it. And of course, we here at Clever TV will continue bringing you coverage on this film and everything else in the entertainment world. I'm Jocelyn Davis. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ramona and Beezus. We saw your underpants. <laughs>